it's me Bernie from Everything Dogs and today we are looking at 5 foods that are harmful for your dog to eat. The foods in this list can really kill your dog. So pay attention. I've seen many people who are not aware of how harmful these foods can be for your dogs. Hopefully, you guys will find this video helpful and share it to educate even more people. So by the end of this video, if you feel like you have learned something new, please share this video with your friends and maybe even consider liking and subscribing. So before getting into the list, let me clear this up. Dogs can't tell which foods are bad for them, especially those that affect them adversely over a period of time. They will pretty much eat anything that appeals to their sense of smell. So the responsibility of keeping them away from food that can harm them really falls on us humans who care for them. On that note, let's dive into this. First on the list, and you might have heard this before, is chocolate. Chocolate will kill your dogs faster than anything else. I know sometimes it can be tempting to give your dogs leftover food because they seem so into it. But their bodies work differently from ours. Chocolates contain theobromine, which doesn't harm humans but is super poisonous for dogs. Within 4 to 24 hours of consumption, dogs will likely show signs of diarrhea and vomiting and can even result in seizures and irregular heartbeats that can be fatal. Chocolates can also have caffeine which is equally harmful for your dogs. So you might want to keep that coffee out of reach from your canines too. Some people believe that their dogs develop best when they consume whatever their humans eat. That is a myth that you should not believe. Speaking of myths, if you haven't seen the video that I made on Rottweiler myths, please be sure to give that a watch. I'll leave a link right here for you. So the next time you find yourself tempted to give your leftover Snickers bar to your dog, think again and save your dog the trouble of being poisoned. Next up, we have onions and garlic. What's wrong with onions and garlic, right? It turns out a lot actually. Anything from the onion family and all forms of it, be it raw, dried, fried, powdered, are dangerous to dogs as they kill their red blood cells causing anemia and gastric issues. Garlic is considered five times more potent than onions. Signs of onion and garlic poisoning may not appear for several days after ingestion. Symptoms include weakness, dark urine, vomiting and breathing problems. Unfortunately, in India, we eat onions pretty much with everything because it's yummy. Be it snacks like pakoras, samosas, chaats, to our everyday food like curries, vegetables and biryani. I think it must be harder to think of an Indian dish that doesn't contain onions and garlic. So a reasonable conclusion here is that the Indian cuisine is not suitable for your dogs. If your dogs have consumed onions and garlic, rush to the wet as it is better to be safe than sorry. Another common mistake I see people making is allowing their dogs to consume sugar or products that contain sugar like biscuits, cookies, cakes and ice cream. Sugar might not appear to do any damage to your dog but is definitely not considered as a requirement for them. They easily put on weight and some breeds are more prone to obesity than others. In the long term, sugar consumption can result in more dangerous issues like diabetes and heart disease. Sugar also affects your dog's teeth and eyes. Excess sugar is converted to sorbitol, which causes cataract in dogs. It's very common to see people feed dogs palaji and tiger biscuit. This is a mistake because the dogs can grow a dependence on that form of nourishment causing all the problems that I just mentioned. Human beings have a much higher tolerance than dogs when it comes to consuming sugar. And so, I would definitely recommend avoiding sugar for your dogs altogether. We have already established that Indian food may not be good for your dogs, but there's more bad news. Salt and masala are also not good for your dogs. 
Eating too much salt can make your dogs very thirsty and even lead to sodium ion poisoning which is much more dangerous. Some experts believe that dogs naturally need sodium as part of an electrolyte balance and would recommend small amounts of salt in their diet. My personal view here is that dogs, being the explorers that they are, tend to interact with a lot of their surroundings with their tongue and might be ingesting small amounts of salt in that process. So I wouldn't want to risk adding more salt into their diets. Symptoms of too much salt include vomiting, high temperature and seizures. When it comes to masalas, an interesting fact I read on hillspet.com is that dogs have less than 2000 taste buds which when compared to humans is quite less. Humans have about 10,000, which means that dogs are not as sensitive to flavors as humans are. So feeding your dogs spicy masalas doesn't make much sense because they can't fully taste it. Moreover, masalas can upset their tummies and even cause damage to their digestive tract. There are a few different schools of thought on this, but my advice would be to go the safe route and avoid putting your dog at risk. It's time for our last food item of the day. It's a common misconception that dogs should consume milk. While puppies benefit greatly from their mom's milk during their infancy, once they actually grow past that stage, they don't actually need milk in their routine diets. In fact, most dogs are actually lactose intolerant, which means they experience diarrhea, vomiting or gas when they consume milk. Here again, some experts will tell you that it is okay to feed your dog's milk in small amounts. So it's really your call if you want to give it a go. If you do want to try it, I'd recommend diluting the milk with water to about a 1 is to 1 ratio. There is a common notion in India that feeding your dog's full fat milk will help them grow in size and strength. This is not really true. Dogs need protein for healthy development. And milk is not an appropriate substitute. Milk can be high on fat which can result in them gaining weight. But this is not always healthy. Regular consumption of high fat food can even result in heart disease. So yeah, that's a solid no to milk and dairy products. So we're done with the food products. But I also thought I'd cover a few commonly found items at homes that can be dangerous for your dogs. This list is a bit longer as it covers different types of items. So I'll just go through this quickly for you all. These include over-the-counter human medication like paracetamol and ibuprofen, mints or chewing gum that contain xylitol, insect repellent sprays, soaps with essential oils, chemicals like paint thinner or phenyls, adhesives like fevicol, laundry detergents, cigarettes and alcohol and even some household plants like mints, lilies, tulips and chrysanthemums. If your dog has consumed considerable amounts of anything from this list, it might be worth visiting the vet even if there are no symptoms yet. All the information in this video is based on my experience and some internet research. I'll leave the link of the sources in the description below if you guys want to read more. Well, that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys have learned something new and if you did, please smash that like button. If you are wondering what to do next, please consider watching one of these videos on your screen right now. As always, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one.